Okay, today we are playing the Fishermen of Catan. So we're just playing with the regular Settlers of Catan, but because we got the Traders and Barbarians expansion, we're playing with the Harbor Master. And then this comes with the Fishermen of Catan um, game in that expansion pack. So there's fish cards, the pond, the edge tiles, and the fish. And we always use a little bowl to help us um, store the fish so that we can reach in easier. So we're going to speed up while we set up our gameplay area. Okay, so we're just going to slow it down here while we show you how to put um, the edge tiles on for the fish. So they just kind of go in all these open spaces between the harbors. There, I'll put this one on. Also, the fish cards, every player gets one. And now we're going to speed it up again while we put the numbers on. And we may have to adjust because we usually just throw them on randomly, but we may have to adjust because you don't want the fours by the four fish tile. Okay, we're going to roll to see who goes first. Dad's going to place first. All right, so now we're going to place, and because we're playing Settlers of Catan, we're placing two settlements, and the rules in Fishermen of Catan is that one of the settlements has to be on a fish, so either on the pond or on one of the harbors. Okay, so we're going to pick up our resources for the last settlement that we placed. So I placed here, so I'm going to get a rock, a wheat, and one fish. So now that we all have our resources, we are going to start play. So we're just going to assume at this point that you know how to play the Settlers of Catan, and we'll stop when anything kind of pops up that has, has is a change for the Fishermen of Catan. If you're unsure how to play Settlers of Catan, check out our other video and we walk you through that one, and it'll make a little bit more sense for this one. Okay, so we paused here because I'm going to trade in some fish. So I have four fish. One, two, three, four. One of our cats wants to play fish. She likes fish. And so with four fish, I get to take a resource from the bank. I'm going to take a wood because I do not have any wood. And that's how you trade in fish.
on the, their last turn, the kids picked up the boot. So that means that they have to get one extra victory point to win. So because this game goes to 10, they have to get 11 victory points. Now, after they roll the dice, um, they can give that boot to anyone who has the same or more victory points as them. However, they are kicking butt right now, so they're gonna have to hang on to it for a little bit longer. Okay, so red, the kids have now built on three harbors. One, two, three. So they are now the lucky owners of Harbor Master, which is one of the new parts of the expansion, Traders and Barbarians. It gives you two extra victory points, just like the longest road and the largest army. So, and also they do have 10 points, with this harbor master, however, they do have the boot, so they have to get to eleven. So they still need one more point. And that's it. The kids win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Harbor Master, 10, 11. And they needed the Harbor Master because they have a dirty old boot. But they still won the game. So that is Fisherman of Catan, and that comes with the Traders and Barbarians expansion. Highly recommend it. Kids did good. We finished this game in record time. Good job, guys. Right on. It's because our eights was rolling a lot. The eights were rolling a lot, which is why they kind of destroyed us here. <laughs> so, good job. We were the only ones that And keep playing games and have fun.